Finally, in May of 1945, it was announced that World War II had ended. And here is what Marion said, narrated by her granddaughter, Sky Wanamaker. The celebrating was immense. And the next thing I knew, Pat was home. He was released from the RAF in October of 1945. After years of being away from my son and so long of not being able to be together as a family, Pat and I decided to return to Canada in 1946 to reunite with our son and family there. While this concludes the stories told by Marion Patterson, as contained in her memoirs, she continued to be recognized as a war hero back in Canada. The Royal Canadian War Museum in Ottawa, Ontario, featured Marion's portrait from 1984 to 1985. Marion was honored in a special display for women and war. During her honorary presentation ceremony, she was presented a book called Valiant Men, which gave descriptions of men and women who received gallantry awards during World War II. Marion returned to Scotland a number of times over the years, including the time she organized a tour of Britain for the Fairbank Toronto Presbyterian Children's Church Choir, for which she was the Sunday School Superintendent. Marion lived a full life in Canada with her husband and family for the remainder of her days. She had three grandchildren, five great-grandchildren, and six great-great-grandchildren. <laughs>